Hello, welcome to Never Unboxing. This time, it's an electronic Bible, all the way from China. Now, I've seen on YouTube a few videos of electronic Bibles. There's a certain brand one. I looked it up and it was quite expensive. I think it was about £50. So I thought, oh, I don't know if I want one that much, because I'm more fascinated with the electronics. Or I'm as fascinated with the electronics as uh, what it's got to say. Um, so I've got um, chant boxes, Buddhist chant boxes, some of circuit bent, and I just thought, well, this is something uh, I haven't seen before, and I just had to have one. But I wasn't going to pay fifty pounds, and this one was about, I think it was about twelve pounds. But um, it doesn't come with the batteries, and I know the other one has big rechargeable batteries. But I think this takes, or we'll find out in the moment, the uh, big lithium cells, like out of a vaping thing. So, um, well, let's do the unboxing. There isn't any English to show you, I don't think, on this, so uh, hopefully any Chinese viewers may want to fill in the blanks there of what all this says. The only thing I can see is you can get different colours, but I don't know which colour I've got. So there we are. So let's see what we've got. So it obviously charges uh, via USB. So you've got a nice little, uh, I quite like these small small ones, very useful because if you're using a tower computer or even a, P, a laptop, it's not too long wires to get in the way. I prefer them like that. Okay, so, uh, well, first of all, it's very compact. Oh, it looks absolutely hyper cheap, doesn't it, with those gold buttons? But it's more what it can do than how it looks, I guess. But it wouldn't look that bad. As I say, it wasn't a lot of money. And just looking at the reflection, I can see a speaker here. I'm wondering if it's got two speakers or something. There's another shape there. Too sure what that's all about. So we get a bit. No, I think that's the only speaker. Something else is showing through there. I'll tell you what, it's, it's reasonably heavy as well. Oh, I think it's also a radio. <laughs> so we've got a uh, an aerial. And I guess, oh right, so I thought that might be a tuner, but that looks like volume. Volume. Well, I'm guessing, let me just get that a bit closer and see. So I'm guessing we've got a, hang on, let's not focus in. There we are. So I guess we've got a volume a another sort of power in maybe and a charge via USB and on and off so I guess you can charge it with a with another 5 volt adapter or something around that voltage I don't really notice it is no English with this oh, it's also got a little bit here so you can put a, a lanyard with it but I don't think no we didn't we didn't get a lanyard with it Unless there's one hiding in here. Well, that's broken. That's broken there, but it's still holding it closed, so... Oh, what's this? Well, I guess that's memory cards there. That looks like that looks like slots for memory cards. So maybe it has. Um, oh yeah, look, it's got a mic microphone there. So you can also use it as a dictaphone, maybe. No, oh, curiouser and curiouser. Well, it's got a headphones. Okay. I'll take that little bit of a protective covering off. So yeah, reasonably heavy. I'm quite surprised how heavy it feels. And you can see right into the back, you can even see some of the chips there. Now, these are much bigger than normal, and I knew about this when I ordered it. And because I knew it was only £11 or so, I thought, well, you can justify another about £12 for these. These are designed for vaping, and I, I thought I'd buy an actual brand. You know, well, I guess it is. <laughs> it's hard to tell when you buy stuff on the internet. I mean, that could be fake, couldn't it, in itself? But anyway, 
2,500 milliamp hours, uh, they're fairly big old batteries. I don't quite understand why it needs this sort of battery. Because surely some ordinary batteries would be more than enough to power like in the Buddha boxes, but you know, there we are. So I'm guessing that the, ah oh yes, it says, it's always negative with the uh, springs, positive the other way. But what's negative and positive on these? I'm going to take a guess that that's negative and the smaller one's positive. So there's no other marking on it. So. Well, that's not going to make contact. That's not going to. Or is it? No, that's not going to make contact with that. All right, so there's my first problem. Don't think they've made contact. So I'll soon find out. Nope. Right, so, uh, oh dear. I'm going to have to find something to put in there. sort of uh, washer maybe or a few washers because they're rechargeable so once they're in that's it isn't it once they're in they're in okay so what I'm trying now is rather than try and put something there because there's still plastic in the way I'm going to push these a little bit more forward so I found some quite small uh, washers and I've put one already on this side. I'm just going to put one on this side here. It's a little bit fiddly. And I'm hoping that that will do it. Because that's pushed this bit out now, more forward. Just hope it doesn't short anything. So there we are. So I have now got those two behind that. No, is it going to make contact now? I don't know, I still don't know if it's making contact. Ah! Good. Yes, it has. Okay, so that solved that problem. So, rather than, rather than bending a paper clip, I opted for putting two small washers behind the uh, positive buzz bar, I guess you'd call it. I was gonna, I was gonna bend this around and, and, and then try and slot this down, but uh, no, that's too big. So just two small washers then, two small washers, and I mean, it doesn't have to be touched again. It's all not going to move. That's that's pushed in quite nicely there. How close I can get before it goes blurred. You can't see it, so the light's not catching it. Oh, there we go. So you can see the two discs there pushing that buzz bar forward. So it now makes contact. Let's just remove that battery there. See, this this was actually against there. And by moving it more forward, these bumps now actually do touch to the positive. And this is the positive, and that, that's negative, and that's positive. So now... It's a shame that's broken. I like to come all the way from China, I guess. Oh, managed to get away with that. Doesn't have to be open again. Right then, so I don't know how much power there are in these batteries, but uh, let's give it a go. Yay! So it's looking for a number, so I guess it's the number... Let's just go one, shall we? Number one. Oh. There's a battery symbol lit up as well. I 
strange. How do you turn it onto radio? If there is a radio, how do you turn it? Okay, so I'm, I'm looks like I'm going to have to charge this up, I think, because the, uh, the battery symbol is on. So um, I'm going to charge it up first before I carry on with this. But um, let's just have a look and see if there are actually any English instructions at all. Uh, no, there aren't. Because <laughs> I know with the other one you had to put in, it wasn't like putting in verse and then um, a chapter and verse to, to get to get where you are, a book, chapter and verse. It didn't work like that. Oh, look. That's the magnet from that speaker. Oh, it's got a quite a high powered magnet in it. So I know on the more expensive one you actually had a booklet or something on the back, was it? It told you how to get to uh, certain verses, but with this, I've, I've got this. <laughs> so, um, mm. so I think it's just going to be a, a bit random, but um, you know, for the money, what was it, about £12? The batteries were over 10 though, so let's say I'm on about 20, under £25 for this, and I'm sure the other one was more than that. But, don't even get it to work yet. Hi. No, no, you can't. I guess that doesn't mean number. I mean, it just says, no, I'm not going to work. Because nothing is working at the moment. Okay. I'll give it a charge. Okay, so um, this is a day later. And I've had this on charge for 24 hours, just for the USB. And uh, it's still charging because those batteries are big. So, um... Without having any instructions, everything in Chinese, I was scratching my head trying to work out how to use it. And I went back and looked at the original eBay listing, and then I discovered something. <laughs> it doesn't have any Bibles in it. It says, you download your own. <laughs> you, do, you download your own, you put in. So in fact, what I've got here is an MP3 player, which takes SD cards. So, but you, you have got the radio, so, uh, uh, well, you've got more than that, actually. Uh, right. I've got to You're say, to the I've got to say, for such a tiny little speaker, it does sound pretty good. That's not very well tuned in, that one. Let's try another one. That's a bit clearer. It was the woman. Okay, <laughs> so so because you could have, it's almost as if you you jo you left or joined Andy when Dawn left. You could have almost just. See, that's pretty clear. So it's not a bad little radio, but if you were thinking of saving money and buying this instead of the the Wonder Bible, is the one it's called. I, I found one place on eBay saying that for about twenty four pounds. I think this was eleven ninety nine, but then I had to buy the batteries, which was about. I think about nine pounds, something like that. And then I had to buy the SD cards. But what I did is I opted for the maximum it would take. And, and the maximum it would take is uh, 32 gigs. Now, it'll only read MP3 as far as I can gather. But MP3 in sort of medium format, about 160 uh, megabits on these things is a lot, you know, a lot. So, oh, was it going to focus on there? No, yes. Focus. Focus. There we go. So I've opted for these. They were reasonably inexpensive. And what I've done is on the SD card one, I had a look online and you can buy, you, uh, sorry, not buy, you can, you can get the um, Bible King James old and new you can get all sorts of different versions for nothing so um i i downloaded an absolute pile of um bibles all different versions and different um 
all in English though, I've got them all in English. Let's see, that's clicked in. So when I go now, when you um, use some of these buttons, it, it operates a bit differently now. So this is, strangely, you get a, a light in it for some reason. So you've got a light, you've got a radio, and then if we go SD1, SD1, I now have work which God created and made. These are the generations of the heavens and of the earth when they were created in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens and every plant of the field before it was in the earth okay, to zero, and look. every herb of the field before it grew. For the Lord God had not caused it two, to rain upon the earth one maybe? and there was not a man. The first book of Moses called Genesis. Okay. Chapter 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. Chapter 8. And the Lord spake unto Moses, Go unto Pharaoh, and say unto him, So you just have to sort of guess, the Lord, guess where you are, really. Go, that they may... Chapter 11. Now Jephthah the Gileadite was a mighty man of valor, and he was the son of an harlot. And Gilead begat Jephthah. And Gilead's wife mm, Gilead. bare sons. And his wife's I've sons. Just, I've just been watching The Handmaiden's Tell on telly. Yeah. That was very depressing. Genesis 19. The two angels came so as I go higher Sam up, this is the same Bible, obviously, but different versions of it. When Lot saw them, he rose to meet them and bowed so this is a more theatrical with his version. face to the earth and said, My lords, Please turn aside to your servant's house and spend the night and wash your feet. Then you may rise up early and go on your way. They said, No, we will spend the night in the town square. But he pressed them strongly, so they turned aside to him and entered his house. So there we are. So I I, I did actually get my... Uh, let's see if we just pause that. Let's pause. There we go. So the controls are fairly easy now. Now that the cards are in... There's just the light here. This M goes between the different things. So the second SD card, I put all sorts of uh, relaxing music in. So this is a CD I've got called Victorian Music Boxes. And you just have to take potluck, really, and just try and remember where you put things. Oh, it's my... Um, Monastery, monastery music. Really nice that is. Sometimes you can hear the bell ringing as well. It's lovely that. Just uh, take a, a bigger number. Let's go. Big number. That's too big. Okay. Uh, no, that's too big. Okay, we don't really go up. Let's try 1,000. 1,888. Ah, do go that far. i got to tell you what. Sounds pretty good. Through this little speaker. And, uh... I'm guessing this is going to be stereo through this. In fact, I've got a pair of headphones. Just see. Because yeah, it's actually quite a nice little MP3 player. So it doesn't have to be anything to do with religion, everything that's got a, a cross on the front. That's well when you buy it, that's the only thing religious about it. Let's just listen on this. I mean these aren't an easy drive, these things, and uh It's uh, it's drive. That's that's flat out volume, but it's it's a reasonable level, and it's in stereo. <laughs> Sounds pretty damn good. So anyway, so if you treat it as an MP3 player rather than um, a Bible as such, then uh, you might be better off, really. But as I say, I I downloaded 
many, many different books of the Bible, put it on one SD card. And in fact, I only managed to find about 16 gigs, really, in the end. And that's loads of different versions. And then I put all sorts of relaxing music on the other one. So I've got myself a, a little multimedia unit now. So uh, there we are. So not quite what I expected because I thought it would have the sounds already built in. So, um, and I think the Wonder Bible also is an SD player. But with the Wonder Bible, you only get one version. So um, I'm not even sure if you get all the New Testament on it. So with this one, I've got loads of different versions of the Bible on there. So uh, there we are. It's now complete. It's another little electronic fascinating gadget to add to the collection. And I actually think I might take this out in the garden and, and, and listen to it because it... You know, it, it actually does pro project quite well. Let's just change it to something else. 55. Okay, let's see what else is on here. Oh. Actually, this could be... Uh... Oh, that could be Psychic TV, actually. So I put a few other odd oddities on here. Yeah, it could be. Anyway, so uh, if you see that's on eBay <clears throat> and it says Bible and everything, it's not. It's an MP3 player and you have to put your own things in. So it's a rather sturdy little unit. I mean, for 11 it it's solid. You know, it, it actually looks like it, it costs quite a bit more than that, to be honest with you. Even the, the buttons themselves, it's a reassuring click. So um, I'm, I'm pleased with it. I was a bit upset at first it didn't have the Bible in it. So I thought that might be quite a novelty. But as I say, it wasn't very hard to go on the internet and find loads and loads of places where you can download all sorts of different versions of the Bible for free. So um, I've done that and it's in one and then music in the other. So uh, there we are. So a bit disappointed to start with, but in the end... I've got better than the Wonder Bible, because I think it's only got one or two versions in. I've got loads in here. Plus, I've got all sorts of other things. I know the Wonder Bible does a few relaxing sounds or something, but I've got way more in here. I've got 64 gigs. Of, well, I didn't actually fill them up, but I've got the potential for 64 gigs of MP3s. That's a lot. And also, I can actually put the headphones in and use it as a portable unit. The only trouble is... You have no idea really what you're looking for. <laughs> you just put these numbers in. There's no visual. There's no writing to tell you what the tracks are or anything. So, uh, yes. So there's that to it. But as a, as a sort of gimmick, it, it, yeah, it's a bit of fun, isn't it? So there we are. So that's the review of that. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.